we begin here with the breaking news. Yeah, out of nowhere today, the uh, DLNR State Police, uh, Water Police of Hawaii, just came out of nowhere. It's time for these guys to be black spotted when they come in as thugs. I felt very intimidated um, by the silence, a refusal to talk about, to explain anything, to give the reasoning, the rationale behind this. So anyways, I wanted to get this out initially, um, YouTube to subscribers, to friends, etc. Because we do have a crisis. There is a showdown here in the Wild West. It's probably one of the most corrupt, inherently corrupt divisions of government, uh, certainly in the state of Hawaii. It's time for these, uh, these aggressive acts against mariners, these aggressive acts against sailors and sailing vessels, these aggressive acts, uh, the, this um, prejudice against white people. Um, this hatred of Howley, they say, the white, the man without the breath. We do have breath, ha, life, spirit. How am I to understand the reasons for their actions today to post uh, um, that I'm illegally where I've been, um, where Last time I was boarded against my will forcibly and I made it known that, uh, you know, it takes an act of Congress for the United States Coast Guard to actually transfer their powers to state or other authorities. And that's never been done to forcibly board uh, into a vessel. But I went through uh, forcible boarding, made it known to them that my rights are being violated. They had no right uh, state jurisdiction to come on board a federally documented vessel under federal jurisdiction that is not under the jurisdiction of the state of Hawaii. Perhaps they forgot about my daughter's really good friend who was killed 20 years of age on YWAM's 65, 70 foot uh, sailing vessel. My name is Aaron Bremner. Because these same authorities come and force you from your mooring, your anchorage, uh, whatever it be, into harm's way, into a storm. The vessel rolled three times, trapped on board, boy was killed. That's still going on. That's one of many stories. So basically, there's no violation. What this is, is basically showing that we boarded your vessel uh, in regards to um, just making sure you got all your uh, safety stuff, uh, CFR regs, which pretty much cooperates with the uh, Hawaii Ministry of Rules uh, seamanship laws. All right? It's perfectly fine. I believe in people's rights, big time. Yeah, I'm, and, I'm, I'm, I'm all for it too. I'm fair. That's all I'm expressing. I'm all about being fair. You didn't get any enforcement. Yes. The harbor, yes. <laughs> the harbor, yes. <laughs> There's, there's a bit of truth to that. I, I don't need to articulate. It's a wild west out here. And yes. That's what... The harbor, yes. Now, you can see from this that uh, last time I was boarded, there was no deficiencies, nothing found wrong. We talked, we conversed. We got over me feeling very harassed, bullied, threatened, um, treated unfairly to go through their inspection. Once again, no deficiencies. Uh, okay to be at anchor. Okay to be mooring. Um, prior to that, I talked to the Oahu district manager uh, because the reason that I'm where I'm at right now and doing an engine swap is the state of Hawaii denied me safe haven and basically threatened to, um, you know, threatened to confiscate my vessel, uh, threatened to uh, assess fines, etc. If I came into any harbor uh, for haven for repair on my vessel. So I said, okay, we're, we're, we're at a standoff. Um, I've been going through disability, financial hardships, came to Oahu for medical attention and needs from Kauai and Maui. It's not, this is not my home island. Um, yeah, we hear a lot about what, Colin Kaepernick and um, all the blacks, African-Americans, whatever color you want to call them, feeling, feeling threatened by whites. Here I am, white person, Howley, threatened by Hapa. Won't even talk to me. Of 
Boating and Ocean Recreation, Oahu District, please leave a message. Is not available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Aloha, this is this is urgent for Megan Stats, an Oahu District Manager. I appreciate that. 8086, please call me back. Thank you. Good afternoon, DLNR. Yes, is uh, Megan Stats there available? She's actually not. She's actually in the boating division. Let me transfer you there. Okay. One moment. Yeah, because I tried calling there, but nobody answered the phone. Let me transfer you one moment. Okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. Hello. Good afternoon, boating division. Yeah, hi. Uh, good afternoon. Is is uh, Megan Stats there? Um, can I take a message? Yeah, well, I, I called and I left one when nobody answered. It's kind of urgent, so... Uh, okay. Um, okay. She's uh, stepped away from her desk. Yeah, it's very important. Um, somebody gave me, like, a final notice to vacate, notice of intent and pound vessel. Um, that kind of came out of nowhere. No, they, uh, DLNR came out to my boat with one of their, like, Zodiacs or ribs, and there were three people. They wouldn't talk to me. I felt hmm. very... Oh, I, I know who, they, maybe uh, it was the enforcement officers? Well, they were very intimidating, and no, I, uh, I felt I'm like it was, you. like, racist, I, and there was no... no I'm asking um, yeah. if that may be possibly the don't care officers. I'm sorry, the what, uh, what offices? Uh, they are um, enforcement officers. Yeah, but I it, it comes through the Oahu district manager, and I've talked to Megan Stats before regarding a situation. Mm -hmm. And uh, the question I asked them was, had they run this through Megan? And um, I believe the person is, uh, assist, is an assistant to Megan, Jenna... Kawasungi, or how, however you say that. I don't know how you pronounce that. K-A-W-A-S-U-G-I. -A -A I'm sorry, what's that? Yes, and I, I'm writing down um, the reason briefly, and your name and your phone number okay. is... All right, um, I will um, put it on her desk. Okay? okay, appreciate that. Thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. Bye-bye. There was an understanding that since I was being denied access to harbors to repair my vessel, that right here um, I would swap out my engine, which you've seen, uh, working on getting it installed. And here they want to come and a pound and tow when the weather forecast calls for a storm this weekend. Uh, weather forecast is calling for big swell, 6 to 10 feet, um, penetrating this side of Oahu. And they want to put me in harm's way where an engine is not yet securely bolted down, shaft secured. A lot of other things that need to get situated when you're putting a new engine into a vessel. Um, as well as, you know, hundreds of pounds of parts that are lashed uh, on deck. But they're not going to stay on deck or stay secure if you get into a rolling situation. So um, there have been vessels here. For seven, eight, nine, ten years, uh, come and go, anchored for days, weeks, months, years, and there's just a common agreement that has worked out amongst the people here. And always before you could call the offices, uh, DLNR, and actually talk, and talk with sense and with some reason, and come to understand uh, why things are what they are. And uh, I've just kind of come to the point where uh, it's time for these guys to be black spotted when they come in as thugs. And, you know, last time they forcibly board, uh, completely violate my rights personally, and yet I still go along with it. And they find no deficiencies, nothing wrong. So, you know, this time they come in, they won't talk about anything. Hush hush. Uh, not only uh, my vessel, myself, but they're going after my Zodiac and my kayak. And it's like, screw you. That's how I can move my anchor around and create. I, I just pulled a vessel off of the break wall uh, a week ago that was going up there with my Zodiac. Um, you know, where's ocean safety? Where was the freaking lifeguards? I told them. So anyways, um, stand by. Watch for the next news break. Um, 
you know, I'm trying to get through on the phone, but there's nobody talking. And, uh, you know, if you go back to 2001, 2002, actually, yeah, 2002, look up Messenger of Peace. Uh, state uh, forcibly seized a vessel uh, against my will and right, against a nonprofit, against a, a great undertaking in the South Pacific. And then that vessel was bound by federal law, bound by federal law to never be used for anything other than nonprofit operations in the South Pacific. What's the state do? They come and they take it and they reuse it in fisheries, in the industry, um, make themselves a lot of money. Um, so, you know, hello, uh, yeah, authorities in Hawaii, you need to do your homework on what you did to my daughter's really good friend on what you did to me and my family and to a whole host of people in the South Pacific um, and against the federal uh, jurisdiction, NOAA, National Marine Fisheries and their buyback program just blatantly violated all of that. I, you know, this is, you, you want to talk about the Banana Republic? You want to talk about a Wild West shootout? Okay, Corral? Well, here we go again. What's, what's really new? It's time for these... Uh, these aggressive acts against mariners, these aggressive acts against sailors and sailing vessels, these aggressive acts, uh, the, this um, prejudice against white people, um, this hatred of Howley, they say, the white, the man without the breath. We do have breath, ha, life, spirit. You didn't look like you had it today. You couldn't even talk. You couldn't even say. You couldn't even look me in the eye. So here I am looking you in the eye. Jenna calling you out. You know, get on the phone. Come talk to me in person. Be friendly. Have the decency. Hello. Um, there's a lot more coming.